I also made my own licorice and peppermint iced tea and it is the best thing ever. That's just amazing. That's amazing. Hey Crusaders, I feel this is actually kind of funny how quickly this haul is coming after the haul where I said I'm not buying books and that was very true at the time when I filmed that I didn't think I'd be getting many books and I hadn't been buying many books but then I went on holiday just to a nice little cottage in the Wiltshire countryside and I did a bit of a bookshop tour because there were so many independent bookshops there and that really reminds me how few independent bookshops there are in my county but anyway gorgeous little villages gorgeous little bookshops couldn't resist and I also had some panic buys so let's just do a cheeky little book haul but first I wanted to start with another cute little thing I won a runner-up prize in Nicole from Dog Brain channel most definitely linked in the description I won her booktube anniversary giveaway well a runner-up prize but that was what I wanted the most and I would by the way say that Nicole does absolutely excellent videos and I really love her and also this her Instagram her Instagram pictures are amazing she gets such amazing backgrounds to compliment her books when she takes pictures of she reads a lot of fantasy so if you want to she's in the description well she's not actually in the description her channel is in the description. She sent me these most adorable little gnome paperclip bookmarks and I have been so good keeping this in here so I could show you rather than using them straight away because they are just absolutely gorgeous. They are the cutest things and I can't wait to use these bookmarks and now I actually can because I'm showing them to you, hooray! So that was a really cute like giveaway prize I think and also she put some really cute stickers in with them which I intend to use. I don't know for what purpose but when that purpose comes around you better believe. So thank you very very much Nicole. Next up I will do the books I got on my holidays. Yes, oh, so exciting. So the first place we went was the Yellow Light Bookshop in Tetbury and, and they give their books in little brown paper bags which is so cute. Ugh. And the book I got from there was How to Build a Girl by Caitlin Moran. I've actually already read and reviewed this so I'll link it here. This book is about a girl and her struggles and life growing up in the teenage years and trying to reinvent herself. It was very enjoyable and like I said, it is linked. So that was the first book I got. In this bag, in this bag I also have an Elvis Presley watch. And oh, this bookmark. This bookmark is also really cute. I picked it up from a church in Castle Coombe. It's got a nice prayer in it and I thought that's a nice thing to have nice little bookmarks in, in from a church. They were also selling used books in that church but I was good and didn't get any. <laughs> and next I went to the White Horse bookshop in Marlborough that actually has one of the widest high streets in Europe. It's a pretty wide high street. And, and from there I got A Man Called Ove by Frederick Backman. Now this was one of those I, re pick, I look at the books, I read a few of the backs and I pick up one that I've never heard of. I love doing that, it was very nice to do that again and this sounds really cute and adorable and light and warm hearted. I think it's about I think it's about a grumpy man who just seems to hate life and I don't know much more than that but I know that it's going to be cute because look at the cover, it's actually a Swedish book and um, it's got a cat on it so how could it not be good? And then I went to Waterstones in Sirencester because I had a gift voucher to use up and I got two books because they were buy one get one half price. Waterstones, you are my life when you do that. So, you can probably already tell what one of them was. The first one, The Bees by Laline Pot La Laline Laline. The first one is The Bees by Laline Paul. First off, amazing cover. So this is one of those popular science fiction dystopians that is going around and I am 
jumping on the bandwagon of science fiction and dystopians at the moment, reading so many and I'm finding that I finally really love them and they don't terrify me to the core. So yeah, let's just get the sticker off. Oh no. When I'm in a bookshop I always kind of half peel the sticker off the book before I buy it just to kind of check that the sticker will come off. But then I put it back on because I want buy one get one half price. So here it is. So it's it's from the perspective of a bee in a hive and things and I don't know much more than that but that's okay. The other book I have is The Architect's Apprentice by Elif Shafak. Shafak. By Elif Shafak. I hope I'm saying that right. First off, gorgeous cover, gorgeous spine, gorgeous booty and let's just check that the sticker comes off. This book just really drew me in for some reason. It's set in 16th century Istanbul and it's about a boy and a menagerie, um, gypsies, a princess, war and just all of that kind of palace intrigue but I don't know too much about it and I'm not going to look into any more and I'm not going to look on Goodreads. I am just going to read it and form my own opinions and hopefully I'll like it and then I can read more books by this author because I love discovering new authors. Oh how cute do they look stacked on top of each other. <laughs> so the other books that I have here were a panic buy because this particular author, you'll know when you see her why I had to buy these books, is just not available in England. You just can't get the books, they're not in all the secondhand shops like they are o overseas and you know you have to get them from where you get them and I had to get them from Amazon because they're just gonna go up in price and no they are quite expensive now so I got these used and they're in okay condition but that the main reason I want them is to read them not so they can look pretty that's not what I want out of this series so Bone Dolls Twin by Lynn Flewelling, book one of the Tamiya Triad. Is this the second one? Hidden Warrior by Lynn Flewelling, I think, perhaps the second one. And The Oracle's Queen by Lynn Flewelling, I think the third one. I'm really trying hard not to look at the back of these. Um, so, I actually think these covers are quite cute. I think they're the newer covers, although still not like dead new. Um, but whatever. And the colours are nice. <laughs> and stop, I'm not looking at the back. This one is a little beaten up and... This... This one seems to have some kind of coffee and tea stain on it, but do you know what? They were all only a penny each, so I don't really care. This one is in good condition. So, very good. We now have the other series by Lynn Flewelling that we can read when the Night Runners is very nearly over. So these were the books that I had to haul for you today, so that we're all up to date. And I got on a little bit of a book buying binge, but I don't think it was too bad and I think three of these books are quite understandable. Two of them were bought with gift vouchers and two of them supported independent bookshops. Boom! <laughs> oh, don't we just love explaining the way our book buying. But yeah, I'm doing really well. I'm reading more books than I'm buying by far. So, we're happy. We happy, aren't we, pigeon? Aren't we? We happy, man. Is there a pigeon behind me? Yeah, I see you. Photo bombing. And you too, photo bombing. That's it, clear off. <laughs> I didn't know they could hear me. Thank you for watching my haul. Please comment below if you've read any of these books or plan to read any of these books or want me to review any of these books and then I can get to that book sooner because I want to read all of these right now and I'm not particularly bothered in which order. And also just generally comment below with what you're reading and just life. Let's talk. Let's talk. Until next time.
Look in the shadows, guys. Oh, why am I waving? So we're 